guess what, guys? You asked, <laughs> it happened. Guess what, guys? You asked, it happened. All right, so yes, ap yes, apparently yes. I'm not too up on this, uh, this, this history, this lore, so to speak, between these two guys. Absolutely, uh, everybody. This was organic yes. and in no way rigged. So we had what well, we we were gonna get uh, Kelvin, which oh, is yeah. one of the local PTL guys. And he had one a really of the best cool players list. in Canada. Let's yeah, as long as his opponent agreed. And so then we went. Uh, the the tournament organizer got the standings. Yeah. And we're we like, wait a minute. I was, I was, what, what Steven is was asking me, he's like, I don't have what? my phone. Who am I paired up against? <laughs> and then we all literally freaked out and said, well, I guess we know what the next dream game is. Yeah. Because we didn't want you to all get salty and complain us and buy, you know, and say of bias or anything. Yeah. So we kicked two <laughs> other players off the stream to get you the grudge match of grudge matches. And it, I guess it was Obi -Wan. fated to be. It was fated to be. Abby, Anakin versus Obi Wan. Yeah. And the chat, you guys are amazing. PJ Broughton, that is the sickest name ever. Dion of the Minox, flying what's now called Dreadlocks. Dreadlocks. Uh, that's a sick <laughs> freaking name for this list. This chat's amazing. Uh, because Dre has one word off and then okay, they're all locks. So, so uh, maybe, Samit, you can like uh, elaborate a bit on the, the history between and these hated two guys? rivalry yeah. between these two wonderful human beings. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I'm not as involved in it, the politics, but the long and short of it is, D said some things, Steven runs Yasb, Steven turned all of Yasb into an anti-D machine, lulls ensued, now we all like to carry it going as if there's actually any sort of any animosity between these two guys at all. There isn't. No. They're both no. great, awesome guys. We like each other a lot. Well, you gotta keep but up that really, kayfabe, got, right? Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Gotta have that. Gotta have that. Up. Gotta have that shade. Oh, look at that! Yeah, dude, putting it in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. This is just two awesome people. This is just. This is you know. This is why this is a cool game. This is why these events are fun. Oh my god! This is, yeah. This is why all this stuff's a really good time to see. You get people from around. We get to make friendships with people that you would normally never get just to interact with. And people are great sports about it. So, yes, you both have seen these lists already. We're sorry, but we didn't want to take the heat that would have ensued if you yep. all found out this match happened and we didn't stream it. So, now, like, round one, we had D facing off against a Rebel list. Yep. It wasn't a Resistance, it was a Rebel list. But yep. it, was a, it was a Rebel list where the highest PS was, I think it was four, five? Yeah. No, uh, no, no. it was, it was uh, Wedge was six. Wedge, right. And then Thane is five. Now that that match was lost because the opponent jousted. Aaron jousted. Yeah. The list. I don't know if you had much of a choice. Well, I mean, that's the thing. People say like, "Oh, you shouldn't have jousted the list." It's four ships, three of which are medium bases. Right. All of which have four. It literally covers. The, if if D spreads out his ships, they cover. Right. How, what is jousting about that? There's nowhere for you to go. You have to engage. Well, but at the same time, I mean, we saw flank it and shoot we, it on we the saw side. how calculated Steven was with his maneuvers. So, He's got all this repositioning in the form of Poe. So that's my assumption for this match is that Steven is going to approach incredibly cautiously. Yeah. And he's going to attempt in all things to outposition, reposition, and get in behind or flanking of those locks. And here is going to be a situation where I think we're going to see right. why you're going to see people start running HLCs on all ships that can take them. Medium bases on this, almost every this ship. This list, yeah, HLCs are going to... I mean, you were telling me last round how HLCs are kind of like an opportunistic thing. Yeah. You're not really trying to get into the arc, but like here, yeah. you're engaging at range three with four dice. Yeah. Against, um, well, I guess they get range mods now. In I mean, that's still hard to say whose favor that's in, considering they'd be... Well, actually, no, range three is absolutely in your favor. They're throwing only three, and you've got yep. four. It's range two that it's hard to say who's in favor. Right. Your right. four versus their five. Yep. Their five are double modded. So you want, I don't know, it's tough to say because, the, you know, the uh, T-70s only have, they only have two evades. They have less hull. It, it's still a very much an uphill battle for yep. Steven, without a shadow of a doubt. But all of his ships get to operate last. We assume that D will do the same relativistic approach. He'll set himself up in a place where he can come on either this, this side or this side, right. take off this entire side of the board, and then just tell and roll out of, everywhere in this area um so i mean you know steven's got fast ships he might try coming like this i don't know who knows i'm sure however this ends up working out you'll see some changes to yasby on monday belinda mood is saying you've flown these lists for about two weeks and you're thinking that steven's list is tough for it um are you saying that's because you think the maneuverability and the hlcs are a problem or are you just thinking that 
just in general because they're fast, squirrely ships? Or I'd let's see what your insight is and why you think that it's it's there. Oh, and look, Stephen went with almost the exact same setup as he had last game. Yeah, with uh, Lulo on top. Yep. Uh, you, you know, it's funny. D set up almost exactly, well, I mean, they're different ships, but yep. uh, uh, last round we had the, the Imperial pair set up in a ball like this. Yep. Uh, the rocks are not entirely the same, but these center three, I feel like, were very similarly placed as they were in the previous round. Well, I but, feel like with a big jousty list, what you want is you want a couple of nice open lanes well, yeah, and I options mean, for your ship. Exactly. That's what he's going to do, I think? Exactly. That's my thought. He might even split one up and bring one in here and then the other two there. I mean, you've got options. Steven's list is 189. He's got an 11-point bid, so it's a 189-point list. I was about to say, how does he set it up so far? Oh, it's because he's already moved. <laughs> Getting right into it. Yeah, so that'll probably be barrel, a barrel right? roll. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming he'll barrel roll ship right. Yeah. Ship right and forward. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he cares uh, too much about bumping. Oh, no, ship right and right to the middle. Yeah, there's that funky monkey right. uh, medium base barrel roll. How you line it up to the hash mark to the front of the template, not the middle where you think it would be. Well, you could do it to the middle too, but that's how it's uh, forward. Right. And that's a bump. So that's relativistically similar the way he set up last round. Yeah, and then he's going to do a hard two, I guess, with Drea? Yeah. And she'll probably tuck in beside the asteroid. Oh, no, no one bank. Soft one. Yeah. No, I, I, I like that too. I, I guess he's, he's trying to set up for when they all bank up this way next turn. So there is already some razzing going on. D asked, do you want me to be crazy precise or just wing it? And Steven instantly said, no, oh, crazy precise. <laughs> and then he said, I'm just joking, but not really. So there'll be a lot of deadpan trolling going on, I think, between the two of these guys. Yeah, um, I mean, part of me wants to kind of bring the mic, the table mic up for yeah, this I match. Know. I don't know. Uh, well, that's up to you guys. It's, it's your production. Not. So it's not my say. We'll, we'll let you guys imagine the type of banner that's going on between your two. Or we'll, we'll let these guys tell the story afterward. You never know. Yeah. So immediately, Steven's setting, uh, that's setting Lulo to, to get behind those guys yeah. around the same time. And that, that's definitely uh, what he's going to want to do because that's a fast A-wing. He can stay behind it. He can continuously stress himself to get three attack dice against it, maybe four if he gets in the range one. Right. Have his way with them, basically. Hard two. I think he's going to bait. I think he's going to do the same thing with Poe. He's going to hard two it. Turd Hat says uh, Skurgs don't need to turn well. They have Talon rolls. Yeah, we saw that in round one with D with his list. Made really good use of those Talon rolls. Got into the middle of the board and basically stayed there for the entire game doing a bunch of talent rolls. Yeah. So I guess maybe we should point out to some of the chat who don't follow all the drama and the, why we put the same list before that was up before. Yeah, so um, if you're not 100% aware about the X-Wing community as a large, you know, T is a member of a very prominent X-Wing community in the Mayanox and a very vocal and very active member of all the community for a very long time, a pillar. And yes, we did have, we wanted to get him on there in the first round to show representation because we were glad that he's up here visiting us and playing for us. Um, and then, obviously, Stephen Kim is a big member of our community. He's currently taking it upon himself to help, um, you know, give us a, a 2.0 squad builder when there wasn't yeah. one available at the time. He has to be 2.0. He right. was able to I mean, uh, work I, off the work of 1.0. I feel 1. like 0. the majority of people who well, in case anybody build in the squadrons chat, in, in a competitive environment, they use Yaz. Oh, yeah, true, exactly. Sure. Um, but if you're not aware, they had a lot of fun, playful banter between the two of each other uh, over on Facebook, on various podcasts. Uh, Steven changed a lot of formats in Yasby to like make a really fun comment towards Z. So that's what this is. When they were naturally light matched up in the streams, we wanted to get it on because a lot of other people would be very angry at us if we didn't do it. The only thing we missed was the weigh-in yeah, for this exactly. match. Where they did the thing with the fists, or they yeah. like did the did the thousand yard stare. Yeah, at each exactly, other's eyes. exactly. <laughs> stare each other down, and then the, each, each other's camp start throwing water at each other. And speaking of which, did you see GSP retire yesterday? Uh, no, he did. And how old is that dude now? In his fifties? No, GSP. He's Wasn't only thirty-seven? He okay, I, I mean, still they, he's still healthy. He's still on top, pound for pound, one of the greatest fighters of all time. Anyways. R.I.P. Wait, so who's Khabib and who's McGregor in this <laughs> Well, the Canadian's obviously GSP, <laughs> the greatest. 
and the young upstart Dion is a Khabib. Because look, he's got that scummy list that would throw, that would get into a bus fight. Mm. Yep. Steven's classy Canadian. Elegance. Yeah, exactly. His patient play. Actually, yeah, yeah. you know what? All things considered, his play style is very methodical, very thought out, very measured. It's very GSP in, as in aspect. That's the yeah, way Yeah, picture plays. Steven sipping delicately on a cup of tea. Right? While he's <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Dee's just chugging a monster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. Keeping keeping Dre at the back of the train. Yeah. Uh, you want to make sure you keep him, uh, keep her, keep her far back enough that she doesn't become a priority yeah. target. Now we got table judge Cam, Mad Genius Mary, right there on the action. He's got nothing. Nothing is escaping his eyes. So there's a three only. So I thought that might have been a five. Mm. Or was it a five? I couldn't tell. Tough to tell. Might have been. Boost here. It was maybe? a four. I think so. Absolutely. And then maybe even a barrel roll in to split those rocks. I don't know. I think you barrel. Well, I don't think you can barrel roll out, right? I don't think there's space. Oh, he couldn't maybe do not. the five. That's right. People are saying it, they don't, it's not on the RZ2, maybe? I'm sorry. I haven't flown them, so I don't know. Yeah, re resistance is actually uh, probably the that and first order of the two, two factions are the most unknown to me, unfortunately. I mean, I have two RZ2s. I just, uh, sorry, RZ2s. Right. Uh, I just haven't bothered to put them on. The, I haven't had time to put anything on the table. I haven't gotten out for a game in quite a long time. Yeah, Bloody work Steve, in Steven life. Remain Cage. Look at this. This is where Steven's going to turn away. Yeah. Maybe try to uh, get an engagement somewhere around here where it becomes a little bit more difficult for yeah. D to, uh, and then Archon, to turn around. Archon 33 letting us know that the RZ2 does, in fact, have blue fives. Yeah, I took a look at the RZ2 it's dial. Sick. It's super, yeah. It's, it's a phenomenal ship. It's a really good and chip. someone pointed out in the chat in the last round, uh, Lulo, they thought they were that it was uh, undercosted as a pilot. I don't know. I don't know enough. I don't think. I don't. I don't think we have enough. Well, in the I mean, what, what do they have? They have four ships. They got Poe. You can't. You can't. Poe's like it down. four aces rolled into one. I mean. Yeah, but I mean, you know, he's still eighty something points, and he's still a high skill ceiling in the fly. Right? Like, you can't just like mindlessly fly Poe. Right? He's gonna blow up. So I don't know. Um, it might yeah. just feel undercosted because it's pretty great, but at the end of the day, it's only four hull. Yeah. It's 41 points for four hull. I mean, the fact that it's I-5 and has talents, yeah, sure, I can get the point that they're saying, but... Right. So where does this engagement happen now that Steven's trying to run him through? Like, because, I mean, do, do you, I guess as, as people are saying, really, if he wanted to, he could push everybody forward and then just talon roll them and then go that way. Like, he doesn't really... And then he still has open space there, too. That's a, that's so, a good point, actually. I don't uh, know. I would, I would, I would love to see that move where he, he uh, suddenly switches directions and forces the engagement here. Yeah. It certainly, certainly seems that's where Steven's flying his ships towards. Deviant AML. You, you yeah, see, we absolutely are You know what, the, you know what the weird thing is? I just got to say this because there's been a lot of like Canada jokes in the chat. You guys should probably know something. We're in Toronto. Minnesotans are more Canadian than us. Yeah, it's true, exactly. <laughs> we're like we're like the baby New York. I yeah. mean, uh, it, it, we're completely different from the rest of Canada. All that Tim Hortons give her out for a rip kind of. I mean, Tim Tim's isn't even Canadian anymore. Yeah, yeah, Tim's Neither not even Canadian Labatt. anymore. So <laughs> maple syrup still is though. Y'all yeah. fucking keep your hands off our maple syrup. North Montana. <laughs> Oh, shots fired, Death Revive. That's fine. Well, I, that's I don't even watch hockey. No comment. Hockey that was a sizzle. That was great. Do Just not engage the trolls. I uh, love it. That was good. I'm a Minnesotan. Yeah. So you're Canadian So you're then. more Canadian than us. So you're Canadian. Guess what? <laughs> good to see you too, 96A. You're us. All right. Producer Travis just stepped away Greg for a second. Greg from Peterborough, so gotta, what do you print your terrain on? I'm curious. Also, we won't. We, we don't have to point out that most Stanley Cup teams are also fifty percent Canadian, anyways. At least their player bases. So Lulo doing what we expected to see happen. He is going around that rock, um, trying to get in behind the talents. This is where you could see the talent-centric stuff flip around and start to see what happens. And it looks like um, Nenum continuing to do a slow roll. Poe is going to turn back. Is he talent rolling? Yes, he is. Oh. He is talent rolling. 
<laughs> so Steven, D with the clap. Hand. So Steven is, ca is well ca played, sir. <laughs> so I think Steven's going to cast a very wide net. Lulo is going to come in here. Ten right. uh, Nen Nub is going to come here, and then he's going to go here, forcing D to pick one or the other. Yeah. So if D goes after Poe, these guys slam up clever. the back. If D Talon rolls and goes this way, he's got Poe there. It's my thought process. But you, but I you mean, know that's what? at the same time, I feel like uh, I feel like D has the hull to just tank a flank attack and just pick off one guy. Deviant AML, we're going to conveniently continue to forget that fact. I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, let's see what we got here. That's my thought process for what this is going to go around. I'm interested to see what's going to go on uh, what's going to go on with D's mind. What's he going to go with? So you guys, so our fellow Canadian down there is saying he'd go for Poe. Um, I mean, yeah, right? Is that not always the right call? You've got insane jousting power. Do you not shove your list down? So you're saying it's not easy to arc dodge here with Poe? I mean, I guess I mean, how far he can he arc dodge once with Black One. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, the X Wing, it's like he's got only three charges of BB 8. Right. And he only has one charge of Black One. It's arc dodge ish, right? At the end of the day, the X Wings are still relatively literal, like linear and literal. They're not interceptors. You know, there's no boost and barrel option. I mean, there is, but only with his S-foils closed. Yep. So there's a lot of different things. I think a lot of people would say, like, if anything, T-65s with afterburners feel almost more arc dodgy, as we saw with what Aaron did two rounds ago with his um, wedge. Right. It's, it's the barrel roll is pretty key to arc dodging. So didn't do the talon roll. Instead, he turned towards uh, the center of the board going north. I like it though. I think he's gonna. I think he's accomplishing his options. He's got lots of choice. Yeah. I mean, he can he can hard two this way and then bank these guys in, mm -hmm. and if Dre will be there, he's and he's still he's again. D always finds a way to give himself lots of options. I like it a lot. He can cautiously wait and see. James the Flame. That's the that's the big uh, challenge with this list. Is it's it's so crunchy. It's yeah. so crunchy, right? I mean, unless you're flying an, uh, a similar list, right? Like we it's saw 38 hull Stevens got to get through. 38. We saw last hull. round, right? How, like, how many shots? Uh, remember the first engagement where yeah. the lead Skurg ate uh, a shot by like uh, three shots, one by Wedge, one by Thane. Yeah, but those shots didn't count because uh, Aaron rolled hot garbage. That's true. He had like he rolled one hit St out of four still, dice. Still, I mean, ten hull. Yeah. Even even with these three dudes, I yeah. mean, I guess the HLCs, two HLCs plus that guy. That's that's. Potentially ten damage. The other is that really all that realistic? The other interesting thing is with the HLCs and the medium bases, Steven's going to actually be able to leave his SFOs closed more often than he normally would in other matches. Yes, because the SFOs I don't believe affect the HLC. Now I might be wrong. I don't know, but I think somebody who knows more than me in the chat will let me know if I'm right or not. Yeah, integrated SFOs uh, applies to primary attacks only. So there you go. Thanks, yeah. chat. So yeah, they do not they do not reduce yep. the HLC. You're right, the HLC does need bullseye, but again, the medium bases, I feel, are going to be slightly easier to proc on. Yep. And that's why I think, based on the meta of what I'm seeing out there, based on this list that he's flying, this is going to be one of the lists you're going to start to see everywhere. because It's too good not to fly it until they fix it. Right. Um, you're going to see this one in a lot of places. I think you're going to see a lot of HLCs come back. Yeah, the, the one forward... Oh, sorry, you guys were saying that you don't... Okay, yeah. I get it. You no, don't lose right. the primary right. dark yeah. die if you're in your bullseye. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, yeah, why not leave the bullseye... Uh, sorry, leave the S-foils closed because... Okay. Yeah, one four with uh, Poe. That's Steven's favorite move, it seems. Oh, so yeah, it's the Rebel special. One four to victory. <laughs> yeah, now, now I'm really curious which way D turns. So now is the turn he has to commit. That's what D just said. He's like, this is the yeah. tough turn. Mm -hmm. He's got to pick someone. Also, this could be the turn where if Steve ba if Steven baits this, he could three forward, three slam with Poe, you know, or he could like oh, three bank, three yeah. bank with Poe if that's the turn it's that he wants to risk it. And if D commits, now all of Steve's yeah. lifts is behind it. Now I don't know if he's going to. Um, like I said, we were saying he's a calculated. I mean, D, slow D player. must know that though. He must know that the slam is uh, is a thing. Yeah, but I guess if he just one banks everybody, he can still just three talent roll them. Like, it's a, it's a, I'm glad that I'm commentating and not playing. This is stressful. <laughs> so, uh, Mike Spear, both the T-70s as well as are closed. If you guys are not aware, Steven has these uh, acrylic tokens next to his X-Wings. 
the there's two sides to them. There's the S foils open side and the closed side, so you can see it's got a profile picture of a X wing with its wings closed. So that's how he's indicating whether his things are open or closed. Belinda Mood is saying that Nian is too far away to matter. Well, I mean, you might be right, but because he could three bank, and if he keeps his S foils closed, barrel yep. roll there. So not necessarily. Or two forward and boost native. They do have that on the dial. Then, I mean, he would be looking down the barrel of all that. This is a tricky turn for both of them. Maybe he just one forwards with Nian. He might just choose to one forward Nian because if T goes that way, then next turn he can come from behind them. I, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I feel like that's what he's going to do. I mean, well, doing any other move kind of commits you to a yeah to a path, right? Especially when you get close enough to these rocks here. Well, I mean, the other thing is if D does turn this way, he d you do not want anything here. Yeah. Because that's just, anything anything there is going to die, right? There's zero chance of you alphaing anything. Well, he'd have to get four, eight, and then in range one for twelve to kill it, or or range two with the thing to kill it, and then you lose one of your ships. Yep. So, so Steven has to roll perfectly <laughs> with double HLC shots in order to alpha one of these down, and then he loses one of his ships. Not a not an easy. Well. Let's see if D's Yomi skills are on point. Mm. Oh, what's the move? Hard He's gone two. for it. So like someone in the chat mentioned, uh, going after Lulo was the safest bet. And it looks like D agrees with you. Get that focus. Everyone else is going to follow suit here. Yep. Um, I mean, that's yeah, as D says, presenting his posterior to Poe. And I mean, he's got so much hull, what does and, he care? And he's going to burn his ship down. Yeah, this is good because... No, it's great. It, it's like any any of the <laughs> likely maneuvers that uh, Steven would have done with Lulo, I think are all going to put them in the front arcs of those Skurgs. With the added bonus that if Steven decides to, uh, to, to do any red maneuvers and stress himself, well, then that's one less uh, evasion die for him. Yeah. Five, Five straight. straight. Well, I mean, if he does boost, he gets to put himself between a rock and yeah, a skirt, gonna, maybe. He's going to dodge two of them with a boost barrel roll if he decides Actually, to. Actually, if he barrel rolls to the left. He'll dodge all of he'll them. He'll dodge all of them. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up doing that. Yeah, he can just he can just range dodge it. He's going to focus boost instead. Hmm. I think he wasn't he a fan on of. on switching his guns now? Well, I think he wants, no, he's going to say, he said he's going to focus boost. Uh, so he's focusing. Right. Uh, auto flushers for the boost um, because he or linked I don't know whatever show whichever one it is I right. think it's auto flushers uh, because you know the hard two on the on the RZ two clears and then he's on the side these guys are not going to come this way right they're right. going to go that way or talon roll so he's he's figuring one shot isn't so bad this guy's probably out of range it's probably just this one well no Drea has a uh, oh her dors her dorsal her dorsal point turret left. won't be able Ooh. to yeah. Yeah, he's out of range of the dorsal, I think. I think I think this guy has a shot, and this guy has a shot. Now, now, for, from what I understand, dorsal turret, like, Drea's ability, the even if it's a dorsal turret arc, it still goes to range three, when it counting for the no, ability. No, dorsal, dorsal turret only lets you shoot in range two. No, shooting in range two. Yeah. But if you're, if you're checking for Drea's ability to see if something's in arc, yeah. this turret, despite it, this, this turret arc, despite it being a weapon that's only range two, yeah. Goes out to range three. Yeah, so it's two different things. It's the ability. The ability yeah. is measured within range three and arc. Yeah. And then the ability is the device. So. Right. Yeah. So just Poe, like Vader, who technically you'd measure up to three, but only active in range right. two and one. So it looks like uh, Steven's going to go after this guy here with both. I, I can't I don't tell know, if this I don't, guy's in range. I don't range. think Nen. I don't think yeah. Nen got there. I don't think Nen's in range, but did he target lock boost there? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so he takes one, one on lock four. Ooh, okay, range three yeah, shot. So he's got primary there, range three obstruction. Through a rock, I guess. Yeah. So it'd be four dice for Lulo. Even D is saying it's absolutely through the rock. It looks like it is here too. So that'll be All right, let's three see on the, four. Let's see that hot D dice. I mean, he's got focus, Dre, reroll. It's still potential for three damage.
Yep. Got to get that re-roll. Yep. Um, Steven was just a bit confused about the dorsal turret thing we talked about. Yep. So he's going to spend the focus, get the two yeah, hits no there. reason not to. And Lulo has the focus. Oh, he's yep. going to take one. Why is he holding on to the focus for? I guess he's just worried about, yeah, that shot. Because it could potentially be more damage, I guess. I, I'm actually not sure why he didn't spend the focus there. All right, two crits. If he doesn't dodge this, he's going to take one crit to the hull. Wow. Three crits. Oh, wow. my God. So I think at this point. Oh, the heroic. Oh, good heroic. heroic. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Heroic, heroic saves is, the day. I think, okay, so pound for pound, heroic, the yeah. best card in the game for two points. I can't believe it's two points, man. I, I really can't. I mean, it's meant to go on X-Wings, keep them alive. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> Blessed. Blessed. Hashtag blessed. That's the second time or third time that Heroic has kept Steven's A-Wing in the game. Heroic's only one. Thank oh, wow. So it's even more good. Why is it one point? Fanatical has two. And Fanatical is worth yeah. four. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe three. Do you think it's because of the smaller ship and card pool that they're, they're like, yeah, they might recost the power it. curve or some of those stuff. They might yeah. recost it when right. they have more stuff. Yeah. Who knows? Right now, it's insanely good. It's, it's auto include. Yeah, it's absolutely a it, one point auto include. It's auto thrusters level auto include. So, what, what is. What is uh, That's also true. Uh, Desmond of S44. It's, we're, we're feeling like it's more OP than it really is because so far, every time it's proc'd, it's proc'd for insanely positive results. But it's like, I've seen it, like I played against it before, people roll the heroic and then they get nothing again. So it's, I don't know, is it one point? It might still be good for one point. It might, it might be a two point card. You think D is gonna continue to chase Lulo here? Like um, turn, turn, turn. Where's Lulo gonna go? Really? I, don't, I don't really like that hard two though. I think he, I, well, I think it's, he's- It's a hard two in preparation for a talent roll on the following turn. What do you think of that? Hard, well if he hard two is there, then he's just going to hard two again and then be fitting. I don't know. Yeah, hard two or talent roll. I think I mean, he gets spicy in three talents, everybody this way. Oh, you mean to maybe bump the Lulo? No. Talent roll this guy on the rock, talent roll, and just freaking de pose dead. As people are putting it on the chat, Drea's reroll doesn't require you to have stress or no stress. She's got to have the arc on the ship. Yep. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I believe the turret rotate action on the Y wing is red, though. So for D to rotate, no, it, no, it's not? Um, because it's the dorsal turret that's giving the action. Yeah, and that's black. It's white. Y wings don't have a torso. Uh, sorry, Y wings don't have a rotate, a action. rotate action. They right, have a right, red right. reload action. Right, right, right. It's white on the they turret. They don't have okay. a red. Yeah, okay. it's, and it's the dorsal turret upgrade that's giving the rotate. Yeah, no, that's right. Anyway, it's, yeah. Uh, as I said, not as much experience with 2.0 that, as I would have fine. liked. That's fine. Y-Wings are like the only ship that I know well enough to be confident right? about their abilities. What else are you going to fly in And I know people are a bit upset about the state of uh, uh, these, uh, well, Nouveau TLT Swarms. Told you. Oh, it is a Talon roll. I think so. Well, the, the three uh, oh, yeah. heart he's, is red, he's going so after it has to be a Talon He's roll. going after Poe. He's absolutely going after Poe. This guy, this guy, I don't know what this guy's gonna do, but number four is absolutely gonna do the same 3K turn, or the three talent. So then what do you think? You think Dre is actually gonna turn this way to get the arc on Poe? That I'm not actually sure. He might just rotate, just rotate. He wants to keep Drea in behind, but I mean, this might be the opportunity for Steven to kill Drea, depending on what he does. C3 LB, how did the Imperial Aces versus Resistance Aces game end? In an absolute cracker. You're gonna definitely wanna watch that one. Steven was able, the, rev, the resistance A player was able to squeak out of win by only a few points. But it was literally down to like the last five minutes. It was a phenomenal game. Hard two and then three talent from the other one. Yeah, see, this is good because he's setting up, he's setting up number two yep. to shoot on Lulo. Yep. yep. And then, like you said, number three and number four are going to go after Poe? Why not? Where else is Poe going to come? That, that, I, so I'm, cur I'm really curious to see what Drea does here. Because oh. maybe Dre does a one bank, rotates his thing. Well, now it, now I'm not so sure anymore. Now Dre keeps the arc where Actually, it is. Actually, you know what? why he did that? No. It's because if Lulo goes here, he gets a shot. If Lulo goes here, they get shots. Oh, yeah. He's looking so to kill Lulo get it yeah, out of yeah. the way. 
One forward rotate. Okay. Oh, just a one forward. But the problem is, if 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 Lula goes here, there's no reroll. Yeah. But I mean, one die reroll is. Yeah. You're not gonna do. You're not gonna do everything just to get that. You still have. Yeah. Ooh, hard one. No, hard two. Hard two. Sorry. Yeah. So Lulo's gonna eat it. Lulo is definitely gonna eat it. Yeah, there's no way sh uh, he can escape from that, right? No. So now what not, I would not do? Not even a boost this way, perhaps. Bank boost won't fit. He'll fail. I don't think it fits. Yeah, right. Straight up, just maybe just maybe just focus, stress yourself with a rotate arc for the extra attack die, and just throw four dice in someone's face. I don't know. Oh no, Steven's gonna boost. Yeah, I, I think he can make it, yeah? Maybe? Oh, I think it fits. Okay, never mind. It's, uh, the Skurg's footprint is so obnoxiously yeah, large, I can't I, see through it. I mean, he, he's still getting shot by number four. Even if he does this move, right? The X-Wing Octopus forms again. Well, I mean... You know what the funny thing is? I think he put himself in a worse position with that move. Yep. Because <laughs> what? The, number three now has arc on him? I can't tell if number two still has an arc, but... Uh, I think I think what he wants is... Lu I oh, no, he didn't. Did he stress himself for focus? He might have just wanted to get Lulo's shot onto Drea. Yeah, I guess, I guess the idea here is perhaps... Because all of uh, Steven's ships are going to shoot before any of... Yeah. Maybe if he gets lucky, because he could get two HLC shots and, and a Lulo range one shot on Dre and delete her before uh, before the Skurks get to shoot. I mean, Steven might want that trade anyway. I mean, if he gets Dre off the table, he definitely has a chance. Yeah, trading Dre for Lulo here, that seems pretty good. But Nen went too slow. Oh, no. Nen, Nen Wait, only so went one the conservatism forward. backfired on him? Yeah. Sometimes you gotta be aggressive when you're flight when you're f when you're punching out of your weight class with your list against a list that's like unfortunately objectively stronger. Right. Sometimes you have to do the unexpected, or the caution can't always be the mm -hmm. only thing you do. Like even a two forward with with Nian would have gotten him an arc of of Drea, and then that's two HLCs. Uh, well, one HLC and one Po. Right. Let's check it for HLC shot on Po. Yep. Uh, think, I think it's out. Oh. Well, now they're wondering whether or not they accidentally bumped the, uh, the HLC. So, yeah, they're thinking they accidentally bumped number four, maybe uh, not get, thus denying the HLC shot. I don't think that's got HLC. Man, I still think you go after Drea. Like yeah. what, what? What is a even if you had the HLC bullseye? Like what? What's that going to matter? You're not going to kill that ship. Range three into. He's going to do it. So range three into the lock revenant. Well, that's where his lock is. Okay. So, so focus target yeah. lock. Two damage, putting him at one shield left. Yeah, that's why he did the boost. He wanted Lulo before it died to get a range one on Andrea. The two hits. Oh, just two on hits. Andrea. That's why I think I would have put the Poe shot into Drea too. Two shots in the, into Drea now would be great. That Lulo shot would have mattered more. Yeah, Assorted Needles, we, we, uh, we know about the one extra hull. It's just uh, we don't have it on the interface. It's interface restricting right yeah. now. They are working on fixing that eventually. How dare they? Belinda Moody, I, I tend to agree with you. I think I would have shot Drea with Poe as well. All right, so he's going to start with number four, shooting at range one on Lulo. That is a very good roll. No Drea reroll necessary. Yep. And that's a deleted Lulo. Yeah. Well, I mean, Steven knew it was dead anyways. Yep. So he just tried to maximize damage on Drea. That's why I think, again, it would have made sense to put the Poe shot onto Drea as well. I, if I you think knew so your, too. If you knew your, if you knew right. your Lula was dead, anyways. Yep. I mean, in hindsight, he made the right call. So now that frees up number three to take a shot at Poe. Yeah. So three dice, no reroll this time because uh, Andrea's it's not arc. Andrea's yeah. arc. Oh, 
Oh, they did. Okay. Yeah, when you're rolling three dice, Heroic isn't going to proc all that often. Yeah, so. Lulo didn't seem to do a lot of work uh, this game, unfortunately. Not, not, a, not a terrible amount. Well, no, I mean, he completely whiffed on the one of eight roll he had to do the first time around. Do you think that Steven still has enough uh, mobility to to win, perhaps? I mean, it's what, just, what are a lot of these? Um, it's just kind of silly how cheap these locks are. Like it's, it's. Oh yeah, I'm looking at it and I'm like, that's dumb. Like it's, it, I don't know. It's hard to say. I, I, it's now, now in your opinion, do you think this is like jump master? 5,000 level or... Like when they first came out? Yeah. Nothing is as bad as that. Okay. Nothing. Nothing ever has and hopefully ever will be as bad as that. That was just... You weren't even playing a game. Yeah. Like you had to fly your ass off and if you didn't have Karnor and mm -hmm. the, or the Emperor, it was very difficult to do anything. Yep. But this is extremely challenging. It's an incredibly high health ship that's usually kept in line by having low evade. Right. However, the reroll ability with, you know what I mean? It's a synergy. It's a synergy. It's not just the lock. I mean, I'm fine with the lock being cheap. It's fine. Like, if it gets it into the game, it's fine. It's just, that's probably why they didn't put a gunner on them to begin with. Like, veteran turret gunner, the price adjustment on that was, I don't, I don't understand. It was eight points. They dropped I, I it, it down to six. It's, it's a bit of yo-yoing, right? Because... I guess the previous configuration, absolutely no one was playing it. I mean, again, you got to look at it. It's a free reroll. It's a reroll for eight points. In 1.0 terms, that's four points right. for a reroll. That's incredibly cheap, if you ask me. Okay. It's just, it was meant to go on bow tie turrets and big base ships that generally have a hard time getting arcs on there. But to put it onto a ship that has a front arc and a tor turret. It's where you get well, to the quad Well, I mean, quad it's, it's the same thing as a BTL, the old BTL. Do we remember quad TLT lists? Thug Life? Well, sure. Now, do you think this is worse than a this quad TLT This is Thug Life Ask. This is <laughs> this, Thug this Life is Ask like, This is like if the quad TLTs had uh, Howl Runner. Yeah, and then four dice primaries at yeah. range one. Right? Remember, TLT could only ever do one damage. Dorsal Turret gets to do three damage at range one. Right. You could potentially do seven damage from one lock at range one. Off of one ship that's only worth 51 points. That's not cost of balance. S sometimes I feel like, and this might be conspiratorial thinking, but sometimes I feel like these point changes are deliberately done to force a meta into a certain type of way. I don't know if that's... Maybe. If that's no, I mean, I think like it's easy for us to over-criticize too. Like, right. We have such a large player community. People can iterate and check and test yeah. so fast. Faster, I think, than any games company can. And competitive players who are very intelligent at list building yeah. are going to find these excellent situations and setups quicker when they see these options. And let's be real. I mean, we got to point it out there. Uh, points adjustments get beta tested, and beta testers are allowed to compete in all these events, so they already come in with months right. of knowledge. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm not looking to preach at anything. It's, it's interesting. It's just certainly incredibly strong. And sorry, I took my eyes off the chat for too long. No, that's sorry fine. So there's a, there's a couple of Talon rolls here. So number two Talon rolled. Yep. Fourth Talon rolling as well. well. That's another deliciously nice move, though. Yep. Because you've got to go there. I wonder what uh, number three is going to do. Man, Talon rolling medium bases is really wonky. The 8-bit deity. We need faster iterations of points. I'm not going to lie to you. I would love uh, every four months instead of every six. And my milk beard, there's no doom and glooming for me. The game is phenomenal. It's in a great place. We have a huge card pool. It was always going to have some interesting stuff come out, especially when we points adjust. I'm still so much happier with 2.0 than I was with 1. I'm just saying it would be great if we had every four weeks, every four months instead of every six. Right. And they might change that. We never know. We never know. They're still learning, and we're still learning, too. Well, also, I think the abundance of different formats, too, is... Well, that's the other thing. Gonna, Hyperspace is such a great addition to the game. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's not going to be, uh, you know, six months of extended tournaments featuring this all the time. Yeah. So the, the Hyperspace... And Hyperspace is going to continually too. get better as more yeah. factions have more ships. Hyperspace... You know what? I wouldn't even be surprised if Hyperspace doesn't eventually expand to become the dominant format for tournaments. Right. It might actually be how they do it, and extended might become the side events. Who knows? 
Actually, Archon 33 also does happen to make a phenomenal point. Faster isn't necessarily better. We do need time to explore builds, to explore the new price adjustments. I mean, everybody kind of automatically jumps on the fast, easiest thing to figure out. Like, hey, this is amazing, it's, yep. it's, it's powerful, let's do it. There's probably a ton of stuff that's changed that we don't know. B-Wings have come down in price, we haven't even looked at that properly. Like, crews have tweaked, new changes have come down. There's new stuff for Imperial we haven't explored yet. There's lots of tech for Imperial. Yep. FO is just starting to get the legs. I mean, whether they're costed right or not, like there's still so much to go on. And again, we're just, we're, we're really technically only, what, wave two of the game? It feels different because we've been playing for years, but <coughs> this is technically only wave two. Yeah, wave two. Uh-oh. Yeah. And Where do you go, thing. Steven? Oh, he's going to just straight up joust here. Oh, is this a slam? Yep. Was that using black one there? Might be. Okay. That's smart if he did. Yeah, because that takes him, I guess that uh, gets him at range three of Drea. Yep. Looks like the only thing he's going to get shot at is by number four. Yeah. So, looks like an HLC shot here on yep. number four. Yeah, and he can't Just afford to spend hits. that focus. Yep. Yeah, number four taking, uh, two. One, taking one, damage. one shield and one hull, right? In the hull, yep. yeah. Okay. Oh, it was a BB, uh, BB-8 boost. Okay. That's, thanks, chat. That's a great yep. use of a BB-8 boost. And Poe takes one off that. All right, the, uh, the nickel and diming begins. Yep. So Harmich was asking if the Skurg list is popular at the tourney. Well, you and I were taking a look around, I think. Skurgs in general are incredibly popular in Scum. I saw, I think, the, the ship I saw in Scum most is the Skirk. And, I mean, again, I, Actually, at 51 points, you'd be foolish not to take one. Yeah, I think I think um, a lot more people are playing the Rebel version with the five Y-Wings. There's a lot of that out there, yeah. too. I mean, I don't I don't know what percentage of of the Scum lists are the Skurg lists. I would, I would imagine it's a high percentage. But, uh, I, I mean, we've only had this featured twice on camera just because it's D. It's, exactly, it's that's not true. Really it's the, the same list, list it's twice. D playing it's the, the same list, list twice, yeah. and when we featured the, this match because of the the love, there we go, oh, the nice. love between the two of these guys. And then they'll have the Dre reroll, or no? Yeah, Dre reroll. Uh, it takes... Put in the focus, yeah. in the focus. So, so Poe gets out with what, only two damage? I think so. We're just going to double check that. I think it was only two. Or was that fist uh, the fact <laughs> that Poe took no damage on well, all that? <laughs> well, I'm just like, come on, guys. You got you to gotta keep up the... Uh... Also, somebody in the chat was asking earlier on between break, was there any of the Venny list? I have seen one. Uh, again, I haven't had as much of a chance to run around. Uh, we generally like to go over it and, and thank our uh, players who play on stream. But yeah. Oh, Harmish, that's an interesting list. Drea with three Kimis and the and the crack and shield. That's interesting. How, I wonder how the Kimogila will fare now that it's the medium base. It's even easier to hit. Two chivalrous for this. Ty Aggress is getting some love. I've I've been trying to figure out what's like what 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 would you put on a Ty Aggressor? I'm trying to figure it out. It's like you, once it gets anywhere near 30 points, I'd rather have a striker or an interceptor. So I'm not sure what to do with the tie aggressor. Triple tie SFs, I have not yet seen I that out there. I saw one person. I don't, I don't know who was. I saw, was I saw a guy that had I mean, you could technically fit four. You could fit two. Uh, you could fit quick draw and two of the other ones. Yeah, the taps are, are almost useless. I don't even know what the point of the tie advanced prototypes are anymore. The tie, the tie aggressor needs something. It definitely needs something. It needs, it needs a gimmick or a niche. It's not high health enough to be worth the 35 point investment to get it to have the turret. The turret's not really useful because, again, you'd be better off getting a different ship. Um, I don't know. Laz, that would be interesting to see. Five aggressors with veteran gunner and ion turret. That's interesting. See, that's the thing. Like, I didn't even think about that because I forgot that veteran turret has gone down in price. Looks like a talent roll happening here. Ooh, Belinda Mood. That's a very interesting list. Three ion turret VTG gunners, aggressors, and two ion cannon news. Huge control, but do you do enough damage? 
I mean, you got primaries on the on the aggressors, and then potential ion, lots of ion damage. That's interesting. I forgot tie aggressors are even a thing. Honestly. Well, I mean, that's that, that's the point that people are <laughs> making about the fact that let's not overreact. Yeah. There's a lot in the in the metas to find. There's a lot of ships that got some. Well, it's got just some weird tweaks. that some variation of turrets plus veteran turret. Well, no, I know faction. that's the problem. That's actually yeah. a problem. That the answer shouldn't be to double tap. That's a that's a bad. That was one of the mechanics that was supposed to leave right. with 1.0. Unfortunately, uh -huh. seems it didn't. Is he just gonna go over the rock? Oh, he'll. You easily avoid it. Nice. So now, now it's Nien's turn to feel the face punch of this list. I wonder what Dre is going to do, though. Yeah. I guess just like a soft one, I feel like. Get the bump, but still, uh, ha like, potentially keep Poe and or, and or Nienum in arc for the, the re-rolls. Dre still has to move. Dre is going to go three forward or four forward? Nope, soft one. Soft one, interesting. Is it? Yeah. Yep, that, that makes the most sense to keep uh, Nee Num and Poe Dameron in uh, Dre's arc. Yeah. Because of, because I think the, yeah, I think the turret is pointing towards our left, looks like. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's talking about how, you know, aggressors have missiles and tie advance has the missile slot, but there's no missile worth carrying. Right. Clusters are interesting, but low I ships can't get target locks. I initially thought about maybe messing around with the Barons and giving them uh, their whatever it's called, Deadeye, whatever it's called in this edition, and then giving them homings, but now homings went up in price. Right. It's not worth it. So yeah, let's say Nien got a little bit tweaked. Well, clusters are great on Major Rhymer because it's range one to three. They're amazing. Yeah, so Nien is going to, what's he gonna do? Just focus? So Poe is going to spend a charge of BB-8 for a barrel roll. And then I wonder if he's going to K-turn. Oh, one bank. Okay. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Yeah. I he mean, open so he can boost. Uh, oh, no. He's in target lock for range one shot. Yeah. He's still, he's still getting shot at by Drea and the... Uh, that one scourg. Yep. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's not going to be enough to kill this uh, Revenant unless he gets really lucky with the crits. But gets a pretty good, gets a pretty good roll there. But he's going to spend the lock instead of spending a focus. I think he wants to hold on hit, to pull. Yeah, hit, hit, crit. Yeah, and then he takes all three. Yeah, might as well. He's deciding well, whether or not to spend his focus. I mean, what else are you getting shot at? He They're can no, but he can shoot at. He's, well, he's deciding whether or not it's worth holding on for his right. range three shot onto, onto. That's true. Nien. I think that actually makes more sense. May mitigate some damage. That right. range three shot on Yen is not necessarily worth it. Fuel leak. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, always a very annoying. Uh, this one especially sucks. on the high hull, high hull ships is this very one annoying. Sucks. It's kind of like direct hits. Uh, there's two copies, right? Yeah. It's like two more copies of direct hit in the deck, I feel like, most yeah. of the time. Um, crits have gotten far worse in this game. Like, far more debilitating to you when they mm -hmm. happen to you. Yeah, Reno 2425, I do believe Poe should be stressed because he bb 8 and then he boosted, and then... Well, sorry, he bb 8 Wait. I'm confused, too. Right, he BB-8 yeah. and then he one-banked, and then he target-locked, focused. So, yeah, he probably should have a stress. Well, j just to let you guys know, um, I don't think we mentioned this at the start of the stream, but uh, we're going with the policy today, this weekend of... Uh, oh, yeah, we should talk about that. Yeah, we're not... So, unless a judge catches it, and there is a table judge watching around, we're not going to be interfering with the course of the game. It's just something that both players have to catch. Yeah, so it, it <coughs> Heroic has been putting in work for Steven's list. Mm -hmm. So Nien just only took one damage there because of Heroic. Now, who's to say it's not going to happen again now? We'll see. Yeah, well, there's only so many times you can be Heroic, right? Well, yep. But who needs Heroic when you can roll natural reservates like that? Who needs Heroic when you're a Sullustin?
So now we got the other lock on to Poe, range three. Good thing he kept that focus. Nice. And that's why you keep your focus, kids. For sure. What's better than not taking that? What's, what's better than taking damage? Not taking damage. <laughs> Man, it, like I said earlier, these X wings just—they just don't behave like X wings. <laughs> what? They're supposed to blow up and die? They're, yeah. <laughs> but they're—but they were supposed to be such a just like a versatile fighter that they were supposed to be, you know. They were initially planned for Imperial display. Ah, it's all canon. That's yeah. that's all Legends. That doesn't ah, count boring. anymore. More, more. <laughs> Who cares? Nobody cares. Get that Legends out of here. Not in my not in my Disney canon. So some so Mike Peter's saying that the heroic would be unplayable at two. It's an interesting point. Maybe I don't know. There's, I'm I don't know. I guess if I, you've I mean, got more experience is, what, with it, not ever proccing for you. At two points, are you going to play instead of heroic? Anyway? Trick shot. I don't think so. Uh, I feel yeah. like the situations where heroic is useful outweigh the situations where trick shot's going to be useful. But I mean, when trick shot was one, it was kind of like, oh, why didn't you have it on? Because it was one point. Yep. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I'm trying to say, too. If, if heroic procs you even one free evade, it's a shield upgrade or a yep. hull upgrade. Yep. How is that not worth the points? It's, I, I guess it's just, like you said earlier, it just comes down to opportunity cost. Am right? I am I, I'm sorry. I think I'm triggering everybody in the chat. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to. It's just a healthy debate. It's, it's healthy and excellent discourse, and we appreciate all of you engaging in it. So, D is just going to plug up. The, okay, so that guy, soft ones or hard twos? Yep. This guy bumps into him. Mm -hmm. This guy bumps into him, and they just all eat 10 them for lunch. Which Steven sees potentially coming, so he 4Ks and passes off his stress. I don't know. What does Poe do? Poe does soft one, right? I don't know. It depends. How bad? Maybe maybe, maybe D really wants to kill Poe. This guy goes one forward then, maybe, to keep his arc on Poe. Steven still has that black one title. He does. I think, is he out of charges in BBA? I believe so. I thought I only saw him use two. Trooper Fives, we're enjoying you uh, shirking your responsibilities to hang out with us too. Thanks for being here with us. Appreciate it. Yeah, we man, hope we do a good enough we're job. We're excited to be casting the first system open in Canada. It's been a long time coming. Interesting. Master giving us the knowledge. Okay, so Heroic has 5% chance to proc on three green dice. So you need to defend 20 times until it procs once and is as strong as that shield upgrade I referenced. But after 20 attacks against you, you are dead. That is very astute observation. I guess that's because, like I said, I don't ever think things through mathematically because I failed math. That's, mm -hmm. that's why I'm a professional artist. I think things through <laughs> with feeling and emotions. Right. So much emotion. I'm, I'm, in, I'm an intuitive And I guess it just, it just feels like heroic is good if it procs even once. Yep. Heroic is for two green. So people are saying it was always yep. for the X-Wings. And at one point, why wouldn't you put it on an A-Wing? Well, that's why we were talking yeah. earlier about no, Lumo I, so too, right? They're that's explaining it to me and how I'm Lumo wrong. <laughs> and I appreciate that because they're actually doing a really great job of convincing me. Oh, that's the same difference. So he is still going to keep an arc on Nen, right. bump the other one, and just mm -hmm. bump everybody else and just, like, where are you going to go? Yeah, I like that. I mean, th th this, uh, this tactical bumping I really like on D's side. I love it. Uh, Death's Rain blog. Her heroic is for feelers, not thinkers. That's our new quote. <laughs> that's our new quote. Yes. It's for feelers, not thinkers. Feelers <laughs> like it. me. <laughs> I feel like my dice are bad <laughs> when, in fact, it's literally just perfect randomness. That's going to be my new cop-out for everything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. D is flying very, very well. He's so on point. So you think that that was uh, that move there is blocking whatever Nian's going to do? I mean, he's, I think, he, yeah, he still has to move these guys, right? That right. guy is talenting? Yeah. Oh, he's just going to two-bank and block Poe's incoming. Ooh. Mm. Soft two, but I feel like that arc is easily escapable by Poe if, if he so wants it. But yeah, I think Poe might have a hard three coming, which sure. would be really I mean, nice if he it's did. It's possible that this move was done in anticipation of uh, Poe turning up towards the top of the board. Yeah. <laughs> Too sure was for this. Way to mic drop it. 
Why are we why are we complaining, arguing over variants of heroic on an ailing? Uh, a fifty-one if, point lock well, revenant that can do seven damage. In that's why. Yeah, because nobody wants to talk about that. We don't want to throw around terms like broken. What's that? What's that old quote about MPE. rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, Death Revive, the, I, I personally don't think VTG should ever have gone down. It was fine at 8. It's fine at 8 and should go back to 8. It's an extra attack. It should always be expensive. Yeah, how much is the Punishing 1 title? Like, Isn't it 12? Okay. Is it still 12? That's the know. same thing. And that right. only works on one ship. 4K. Yeah, I love oh. it. Nice. Pattern analyze. Is that, is that close enough to uh, shed the stress? Looks like it. He's going to pattern analyze for sure. Shed stress. Yeah, it's range one. He'll target lock, I think. Yeah. And then he'll shed stress, and then he'll focus. Because of all the weird interactions oh, with uh, hearts, thing. Did he block? Three. Oh, he hard three. Stephen called it. Oh, but he dodged. Yeah, he, he dodges, dodged and he'll be able. What? Oh, you know what? He might take He could take out that uh, lock revenant with... Uh, with Poe before yep. it gets to take a shot at Enum. Yep. That's why he's target locking him. I mean, it was still a great call by D. It's yeah. just, I, th I, I don't I think guess, he made the wrong choice. I guess D was anticipating a two turn. I think he was, and if that yeah. was a two turn, that would have been a godlike block. Right. But uh, Steven anticipated the anticipation, looks like, and put a three down, and that was a big turn for him. So he's got to get that lock down now. So he, well, okay, so. This would be good news if he takes down the lock revenant, but I gotta point out that's there's why you 18, always take a target 19 lock. minutes left in the game. Yeah. Like is he gonna have enough time to uh I, I guess all he needs to do is take out a lock revenant, not lose anything else. He not just get killed it. Half points on anything. He just else. killed it. He just did four damage to it, it's dead. Crunch. With, and the crit in there for a fuel leak, it's it's gone. Right. Okay. And now he can get now he's gonna get half on that other one. So that's number two. He just needs, well, I mean, he, he's going to have a bunch of, oh. Oh, okay. natty. Okay. Was that huh. two crits, two what? hits? Uh, No, three hits, one oh, crit. Okay, but three hits, one crit. With the one of eight, it's not going to It's not gonna do any hull Yeah, damage. the crit doesn't get through. Okay. Well, right. Steven needed a turn like that. So now now with 18 minutes, Steven's actually got a bit of an advantage. Except that now Drea might get half yeah. points on Poe. Or does he already have half points? No, not yet. No, not yet. Ooh, double crits. Okay. So now pose at half? Only loses no. the shield. No, One more hull to half. Not yet. We got a game going. Woohoo. We got a game going. Y you know, if, uh, if Steven takes out number two. Well, two is 100, a million percent talent rolling. Right. This well, Steven number, must know that. So number three, number to, three is stress, so can't talent roll. Yeah. Has to one soft or whatever the heck it yeah, has yeah. to do. Yeah, so, so number number three is out of the game for. Uh, but here's yeah, yeah. Number three, number th lock lock three, uh, yeah. is out of a uh, is relevancy is gone for a little bit. Yeah. When he uh, when Steven lost. Lulo early on, I yeah. didn't think his chances were good. You well, know, he then, needed then we, that turn though. Yeah, he needed we, that godlike hard three. Yes, and he needed that insane damage yeah, output that, round. That soul read that's that what has he got needed. him way back into this game. That one turn is where the average, and I think D's feeling and, it and too. This, this positioning he has is amazing right now. Like, yeah, you're right. The lock revenant number two is probably going to do a three talon roll. I mean, he, he has two. Op it has two options. It stays going this way. At which point, they just go one forward and bomb, bomb him. Yep, he goes. Shifty and goes that way again. Right. At what point with the you know they can still but have is, arcs? Is that really that shifty? I don't think it, like all uh, all Steven has to do is go one forward. Yeah, well, don't forget Drea can hard two and block Poe. That's true. And then they get the, it gets their turrets back on. Actually, I don't think a hard two blocks uh, Poe. Hard two, I think hard two bumps. No, it clears. No, it clears. Okay. Yeah, it clears. Uh, D definitely won his first game on stream, yeah, and this, I'm assuming this, he won his second as well. I believe this table, table three, is a uh, both players are two, two and, and zero right now. Number two, two talons left. See, that's the one yeah. that we're all talking about. But is that like, that's like the obvious move? So is that what he's going to go for? Is he going to try right. to be shiftier? Does he do something really janky 
and like one forward barrel roll it back to here again and sit there and block that hard one and then Drea Hart too and that blocks pull and then it's all a clusterfuck. I don't know. What does that gain him? It only gives him one attack. I don't know. At least if he talents, he has a chance at getting another attack. It's yeah, definitely a tough it, turn for It's really for interesting to see what Drea does in this uh, situation here. It's a tough turn for both of them, though, because Poe is stressed. So I, I see a 1-4 or 1-bank is all that's coming. Because mm -hmm. that's all you're going to do. He's out of BB-8 charges, too. He is out of BB-8 charges. Well, you can't BB-8 can, if you're stressed, can you? Mm, I don't think so. Not without okay. Pattern Analyzer. Right. Or is that the old 1.0? I, I don't remember. know. I don't know anything about any faction that isn't Empire. Even that, I don't know really anything about it. Uh, Death Revive, that's a good choice. We should see if we can get... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, we know Bruno, Again, we, we did, the, uh, we did the, the Alpha Condor Challenge last year with those yeah. guys. So we got to get somebody out there. I definitely want him at some point. We're gonna want, there's so many people we want on. Dion. I know, the problem is we don't have enough games or yeah. enough streams to get all the people here that we want to get on. There's so yeah. many good players here. So many people who travel that we want to get on there and show our love to. Uh, we will do whatever we can to get, to get you guys some great matches and keep the variety of players going too. We certainly by no means just want to only play our local guys and girls because we see us our ugly mugs all the time anyways. We definitely want to get oh, some of the travelers. He, he did that I love it, D. maneuver you talked about. I love it, D. I love it. Oh. Sometimes, you know, however illogical, the most unexpected thing sometimes is the right choice. I don't know. So, But that move is in anticipation of what, though? I don't know. I really don't know. I just not doing the obvious thing and getting yep. two ranged ones off X-Wings. It's D trying to live to fight another round. Well, look, look at this, too. He took yeah. a hard two, didn't shed a stress. Yeah. I mean, j just to a lay person myself, yeah. like myself, like I don't see what, what D is ah, doing Ah, that here. makes sense. But uh, Yeah, so he's, gonna, he's trying to reform the swarm. Yeah, okay. And then the hard two next round with this one, with Dre going this ah, way. This okay. guy comes back in. He's bringing everybody back in this way. Sure, but in the meantime, he's, he's like at risk of losing this guy. Yeah, provided so, that... This guy to... Uh, Provided Steven right. called it, which I guess it looks like he called it again. So he's going to boost, obviously, because he still has a lock, oh, it looks like. Oh, man. Range one. Is it in arc? Uh, it's definitely range one in arc. Okay. He has his lock from last round, though, so. Oh, he called it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I guess, you know why? Because Steven did that maneuver? Because Drea was going to block his one oh, forward sure. anyways. Okay, yeah, he was anticipating. Uh, yeah. He was anticipating the block by Drea. Yeah. So right now, Drea is the only one on D side that's got a shot? Yeah, and that's the shot. He, if, if, if Steven can get half points on that lock, right. I don't know if he cares so much about. All right, so here's Poe. Uh, range one shot with a target lock. Yeah, that makes way more sense. Yep. There you go. That's the better call. Three damage. Okay, so now all. Uh, so Steven needs to also deal three damage with. With Nia Num. Oh, is he in? He's got to get Cam to check this. Yeah. This is, this is an important oh, one. Oh, that's a huge one. Is it an uh, arc? Looks is it like not it. an arc? Okay. Oh, it is. <laughs> uh, oh, spend the lock spend for the sure. Lock. Three hits. Uh, hitting two crits. Is there paint? Oh, so lucky. But you still get the crit. Hull breach. Hull breach. Oh, whatever. What's you got one breach? life left anyways. The damage is dealt face up. Oh, sure. Okay. Or no, or you might take... Oh, no, that's the only I'm confusing it with. Yeah. Oh, no. So, yeah. Right. You No, no. When you take a, a crit, suffer a hit first. Right. So it's, it's, it's nasty. Oh, man. Dre on oh, Heroic. Nice. Heroic. Heroic Procken. Oh, oh, my <laughs> God. The hero of the resistance. Oh, 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 what did you say? It was for feelers, not thinkers? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Heroic is for feelers, not thinkers. You heard it here first, chat. You didn't believe me. You didn't believe me. I told you Heroic was OP. That is what, the sixth or seventh goddamn shield upgrade off that one Heroic. I don't care about stats. I How failed shield math. Upgrades? Oh, my God, this is so hype. This is so hype. <laughs> Oh, Poe, the hero of the hero of the goddamn resistance. He's a hell of a pilot, and he's pretty too. I got a I got a fin sized man crush on Poe right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. What a match! 
So, okay, so these kind of, the problem is, is now he's kind of screwed with this lock. I don't know much about it. I assume it's got a two bank still. I don't know if it has a three bank. And a one bank is kind of, actually one bank's not so bad, but then Nian is gonna one bank barrel roll and HLC him in the ass. Well, can, can, uh... oh, that's a good one too. Don't conceal, just feel. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, we play with faith. We use our emotions. Let it, let the force flow through you. To borrow a Yu-Gi-Oh phrase, heart of the cards. Exactly, the heart of and the that's cards. exactly what happened there. Poe had the heart of the cards for sure. <laughs> exactly, you've activated my trick card. Oh, oh, that's his, oh a Talon. A four, it's a talent, I forgot. Yeah. It's acting like talent? I haven't seen D play for two games. What's he gonna do here? A Talon roll. These guys are like defenders. I should try it's, learning it's like how to fly It's like the Lock them. Revenant dial is just two maneuvers. There's two maneuvers. It's hard one two and Talon roll. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Listen, I'm occasionally a, a soft one. I predominantly only fly yeah. a defender, so I should know. There's no difference. What's the answer? Talon, K turn, same difference. So you're saying the Lock Revenant is like the scum defender? Oh, God, no. Defender's way better. I mean, it costs twice as much, but I, whatever. I want to believe that's the case, but I don't know. Uh, I mean, I would happily take one. I tell you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to staple HLC to right. uh, Rexler after this tournament. I mean, this, this is interesting. He might, yeah, the Drea is nice. He's if, putting up a nice kill box, though. Yeah. He might get, get Poe in a bind here. Oh, yeah. He absolutely. I think this is a black one turn. Oh, yeah, just get out of there? Dee's asking if he'll accept that as a target lock. <laughs> so Drea is target is locking. An energy token? It's an energy token, it looks like, yeah. So if he bumps <laughs> that pole. Did he bump? No, no. I was just saying. Okay. That's what Dee's leveraging well, on. Th this is fine, though. I mean, he's going to. I mean, I he's don't want to him. presume anything, but he's got to kill the lock revenant now, right? Absolutely has to. Okay. The thing is, if Dee read him and. Uh, bumped him, but Steven was too cute for you. Does he black one here, or does he uh, does he bank on Ninum killing Lock Revenant number two? He is black one titling. He is slamming. Yeah, yeah. Better he's safe than sorry. You got eight minutes left yeah, in the round. He's not gonna lose the game now. No, that is a smart yeah. call. I don't think. And he still has a slam, and he has a boost. So because the slam is not, it was a maneuver, right. not, a, not a boost, he can still use his um, take the stress instead of the ion for the action. Exactly. Why he can't risk it? Drea could still easily put that one point into Steve. Steven's playing to win, and he should. Right. He's at a high-level tournament against a high-level player. You have to play to win. HLC. Uh, yep, done. Three hits. That's a deadlock. No, it's revenue, dead. Right? He doesn't even have to focus. He's yep. dead. He can Oh, maximum disrespect from D. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So now does an unmodded Drea do three natties? Well, and then, on a focused up Nienum? I mean, Nien's been pretty heroic this matchup, okay. too, so I we'll mean, see. He's, he's, she's only rolling two dice, remember. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So it's, well, double crit, fuel leak into another crit, into another, and it's possible. Well, Nienum has two shields still. Yeah. So no. those uh, crits. That's true. That's true. Nothing's happening with those. So, uh, you Ooh, know, it, money. Steven may want to. Oh, yep. Just yeah. Focus. You absolutely focus. It, it looks like number three is out of range. Might be beyond range three. I think they're going to check that right now. Uh, he might be in. He's in. Yeah. He looked Ooh. in. Or is he in or is he out? Oh, no. They think they ruled it as out. Well, uh, Oof, that no, was it close. It looks like they're back to dial. That looks in. It feels Okay, so you're you're Steven, you're out of black one, you're out of BB eight, you're you're out of tricks, you're stressed, you got a one bank, hard two isn't clear isn't clear. Oh you get two bank. I think I think everybody's going this way. So Poe is going this way. And Nien is just going one forward. Again, that, that feels like too obvious. I don't yeah, know. I know, but I mean I mean he could go this way, actually, right. and then that feels bad. That could still, he can still well, kill. While it might be anticlimactic, I think Steven just just runs. Yes, I think you yeah. four forward with Nien, and you hard two this way. I think because that's this these two right here, one forward from Drea and the one two yeah, bank. That you still just kills be, that X wing. You just got to be careful of the turret arc too. It's facing towards that side. Well, then he can one bank with Drea that way. Yeah. Right. I'm just saying that lock alone can one shot that X wing. With a focus token and perfect dice results, 
Five minutes. Oh, you're just confirming? Everything's good? Hmm. Yeah, and hard right, hard right three. What about a Talon roll from, um, what about a Talon roll from Nien? I think it'll be somewhere that way, maybe? Shave stress? I don't right. know. I don't know. Could be spicy. Or a 4K. I, I feel like what Steven's going to do, he's going to pretend to spend a lot of time thinking. Yeah. I mean, not to say he's slowing playing or anything. And then just do the obvious move to throw D off. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, on a turn like this, you got to allow someone a minute or two to make a decision. Like they, like, it's it's right. It's important enough. All right, let's see what uh, D ended up doing. He did a two forward. I guess hoping to catch uh, Nian Numb if he decided to go this way. Yeah. Drea two going three forward. Wow. Okay, he's I getting guess at it. He's getting He's at it. He's also trying to bump uh, Nian Numb here. Why not? This is where a 4K, yeah. this is where Stephen 4Ks and shows that he's an X Wing God. Three bank, okay. Well, I mean, still an X Wing God. He, I think yeah, oh he yeah. just dodged all the arcs. There. He did. Yeah, try, trying to get half points on Poe, that's not enough, though, is it? Uh, Poe was worth 80, so he'd so be, be getting 42 40, points? 42 more points. He'd be No, he's got to kill Poe. That's his only win condition. But Poe's the lowest health ship, so D's got to go all in on him now. Yeah, at this point, that's all he's got left. Yeah, just run. I mean, boost here? Uh, boost off to the side? Split the forces? He doesn't want to stress. He did, he foil, did I don't close think. his foils too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, don't don't take any chances. No, he's out of he's out of range. He doesn't want to be stuck with the stress. Yep. He wants a, tu a turn maneuver on this next round. He wants to be able uh, to uh, two turn with Poe. So now Dre is gonna go the long way around three bank. This lock is gonna go three bank, or two bank and two bank to keep the arc shallower. But that's got to be a three. And then what? Does Poe hard two and say, come at me, bro? And Nian's like, hard two boost and come at me, bro? I don't know. This might be a crazy idea. What yeah. if you did a hard, a red three yeah. turning this way? And so you covered this arc here. You could do that. I mean, I think you get the same, rel you would get the same relativistic. Well, yeah, it wasn't a hard three, but yeah. it was close. Yeah. Right? Because now this way, because uh, he doesn't have the black one anymore. He can't slam. Yep. The, the best Steven can do is stay at range three so he doesn't get double tapped. Yes. Which is why D went so fast. Yes. Because he's trying to get that range two double tap to get him. Because mm -hmm. he can do it with, with, with the just two ships left. He's absolutely still in the game to win right. this. He just needs to be able to get in there. Although, so what, Steven's best maneuver here, if he predicted correctly, is what, three bank boosts? Uh, that's no, dicey. Does that, that doesn't that's take dicey. him off the board, does it? No. This is the Talon roll? Yeah. I Pattern like analyze for a boost, I would assume. I mean, it, you're being a bit greedy, I think, but you could at least get a half pointer on. Well, uh, I don't think so. I think you keep the Drea. pressure on, even if you stick strip a token or whatever, right? Right. Like, if he gets half point somehow on that, that I mean, on the lock is full health, he won't get it. Right. If he somehow loses Poe, but he can keep the pressure up, it still keeps his points high enough. Uh-oh. So, uh, boost, I guess? I don't think, He's I don't gonna think boost there's in any range one. that. He's just going to boost in a range one focus. Oh, sure. Well, that's so sketchy. Really? I don't think he called that's the three bank. I guess Steven didn't call the three bank. A, oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. no, that's what he's doing. Sorry, barrel roll, and then push the limit, right? He must have had one left. Oh, his foils are closed. We're I dumb. forget X-Wings could do everything. We're dumb. <laughs> We're dumb. We're dumb. I keep forgetting his foils are closed. If only he had an acrylic token telling me when his, oh, his foils God. were open or closed. You see the way he teased D there? Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. let's do it. Maximum. No, no. <laughs> maximum troll. <laughs> Steven, you're a troll. I think I think Steven's our Minoc of Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Stealthily. I love it, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 
okay. So it, there he's go. like, no, no, this nah. is actually a range to attack. I yeah. don't think it actually matters. He could, no, no, it's fair. He caught yeah. him. This is just to rub it in. Yep. Now Steven's checking for HLC range. If not, I think he might be going for half points on Drea because why not? Eh, try to get the MOV, right? Might yeah. as well. Ooh, you take. Nice. No. All the evades. Okay. Dee's has some consistent evades going on, though, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he has any shots. No, not even. Oh, I think they, they don't realize the time is up. Cam, just let them know. Oh, they'll know? Okay. Yeah, all right, that's the game. Now, yeah, okay, so. So that was an amazing, actually, that was, that was an amazing match. That was an amazing match. Well, I, I mean, that's the point. Poe has to carry the match. He has to carry all lists. That, that's his thing, right? Like, and, you, and that's why he's not a beginner ship either, I would say. Well, Poe is tricky to get good. Steven's Samir, been playing what, Poe what for over a year. What did we learn from this game? That, that heroic is a card for feelers, not thinkers, Thank right? you very much. And it's definitely <laughs> undercosted at one point. 